Thank you for volunteering to be a market watcher. Before I get started with the intro, I have to give a quick disclaimer in relation to the terms of service. This tool very much sits in a gray area with AGS. They have not responded to multiple requests from us for comment on this for, for obvious reasons. They don't want to put a hard stance on, on tools like this. But at this point, this tool has been in service for over a year. We've had hundreds of market watchers, tens of thousands of scans run, and to my knowledge, no one has been banned for this yet. The technology used here makes it pretty much impossible for AGS to detect someone using this. The only way you're going to get flagged as a bot is if you act like a bot and get reported by other players. So if you're standing in the same place, scanning the marketplace over and over, never moving, never logging off, uh, that is most likely going to get you flagged by the players and the only way you might get in trouble for using something like this. All right, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is walk over to the marketplace. Positioning is pretty important. You want to try and just make sure you have as neutral of a background as possible. So I'm going to open up the trading post here and I want to make sure that the main area here where all the items are is a fairly neutral background. Pretty importantly is this page count area is in a neutral background. You don't want this on anything bright if possible. Uh, the scanner has gotten pretty good these days at, at working with just about any environment, but to have the best results, just try and have as dark and neutral of a background as possible. Now, before we get started, there's a few things you got to make sure of. One is make sure the pricing is set to be sorted in ascending order like this. It's very important. It won't work without that. This is how we do some of the error checking. The, the next thing you can do is in the settings of the tool itself. So I'm going to open up the scanner here. Uh, when you first open it, you'll see this console window open here. And this can take a few seconds to load the login window. If it's the very first time running it, this might take a while. So be patient. Then I will get my login prompt here and I will log in. And at this point, the console window is just for debugging information. I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to drag the scanner over to my second monitor here so it's out of the way. Uh, very helpful to have two monitors if you want to watch the scan while it's going. If you only have the single monitor, this will just get pushed to the background as soon as you start scan. So before I start scanning, if it's your first time, you want to make sure your settings are set properly. So use the settings button at the bottom here. You can configure your action key. Uh, by default, it's the E key. I've changed mine to F. The cancel key is this forward slash key. Um, you can change that as well. This is what cancels the scan. The move forward, move backwards key probably are gonna still be W and S for you, so don't change those if you don't need to. And then the resolution. We currently support two resolutions, 1440 and 1080p. Make sure that this is set before you are starting. It's also important to note that your Resolution that is set on your monitor should be the same resolution that's set in game as well as what's set in the scanner So if you're changing or tweaking your resolution for anything, it's got to be the same in all three places and The game new world has to be running on your primary monitor right now We've had issues where if it's running on a secondary monitor the the scanner tool can't find it now that we've got everything set up properly, we can start out with a test scan. So by default, this box is going to be checked. You can just click start scan and it's going to take over control, make you take a quick step forward just to make sure we are not going to trigger any idle timers or AFK timers. And then it's going to scan through the first page and hopefully you will get this 20 listings processed and 100% accuracy. If this looks good, you are ready to proceed with an actual scan. If you're getting anything less than this, you probably want to consider tweaking your position a bit uh, to see if you can get a more neutral background, but you should be getting 100% accuracy on this test scan. If you're not, you're going to get terrible accuracy on a real scan. The last thing to check before we get started is your brightness and contrast. So if you go to your settings, visuals, your brightness and contrast should be roughly five and four. That's what we've tuned this for. That's where you'll get the best results. Now that everything is set up properly, we're ready to start a real scan. So we can uncheck the test run box here. And just one last note, before you click start scan, as you saw with the test scan, it immediately takes over control of your mouse and uh, wants to scroll through the, the windows. So if you're going to watch Netflix on another monitor or something like that, make sure to have that ready and click play 
before you actually click the start scan because once you click start, start scan you should be hands off the mouse and keyboard so I'll kick it off here and what you'll notice first is going to again take a quick step forward just to make sure that I'm not going to hit the uh, AFK timer and then it's going to start off with raw resources and start scrolling through and capturing images uh, on the left here on my left monitor you'll see the scanner and you see it telling you the, the section that it's on, how many pages it found, and it shows you the images that it's parsing. The accuracy will start to populate once it finishes its first section. Skipping ahead now, you can see the accuracy is showing because it's finished the first section, moved on to the second section. I should mention that the image capture portion of the tool and the text extraction portion of the tool run in parallel processes. So once it finishes scanning the first section and moves on to the next, you won't see the accuracy for about another uh, 20, 30 seconds or so because it's still doing the text extraction for the, for the previous section. Uh, the other thing I should have mentioned is uh, timing wise of when to start these scans. Try not to start these scans at a time where they will run over midnight on your local time. So the scans take around 30 minutes to finish. So that means around 11 p.m. your local time is the latest you usually want to start a scan. Uh, and then you can start one immediately after midnight, 12.01, you could start another scan. The issue here is that if you have a scan that stretches across midnight, then uh, our graph sort of thinks that scan was done over two days and it just messes with the, the structure of it. So easiest just to avoid running scans that span over midnight for now. Skipping forward a bit, I should let you know how to cancel a scan if something goes wrong. Uh, as you saw in the settings, it was the forward slash uh, key by default so you can press that anytime it should kill the scan and you can restart it's usually best to close the scanner reopen it if you have to cancel out just to make sure there's no bugs or anything like that uh, to be safe but uh, for the most part you should not need to cancel um, if you do forward slash key the escape key should do it too if you really get into stuff you can always control alt delete to uh, to kill the process for the most part, the only time you're going to scan is if something goes wrong and you need to quit early or if your accuracy is very bad. If you're seeing a total accuracy lower than like 97, 98%, best to probably just cancel the scan and uh, start again. The next tip I'll give you is about errors. You'll see these from time to time. For the most part, they do not mean anything really went wrong. One common one is a failure to load the page. This happens when it clicks the next page button and the game just doesn't register the click. So what's gonna happen is the scan will just wait three seconds and try again and usually there's no issue. The other error you'll see from time to time is where it fails to read the page count. And that's because it is such a hard number to read. It's fairly dark and small. So if it can't read a number, it will default to 500. And all that's going to happen then is when it gets to the end of the section, say it actually only had 200 pages, when it gets to page 200, it's going to try and click to the next page five times. And after the fifth time, if it can't recognize a new page is load, then it's just going to skip to the next section. So nothing really breaks. All of these errors just mean things are going to take a little longer. As we're coming to the end here of the final section, which is the house furnishing section, I can tell you what happens at the end here. Uh, we're going to finish up the image capture portion of the scan, which means that uh, we don't actually need to be in the trading post anymore. So you'll see that it finishes up and in the status, you'll see it change over to waiting for image parsing. So that means the mouse control and everything else is done. So we can actually exit out of the trading post and we can close out the game entirely if we want and it will continue to parse the, the remaining images and automatically submit to the website when it's done. So it depends on the speed of your computer, but uh, as you can see here, I've got about 150 images left before it submits. So we'll just fast forward to that. All right, the image capture portion just finished a minute ago and now the text extraction process just finished. You can see it says submitting data to the API. It's doing the last of its validations there. And you can see one warning about bad accuracy on one particular page is scanned. Don't worry about that. Those will happen from time to time. Like I said, as long as you get above 98, 97% accuracy, you should be good. Uh, this submitting to the API can take up to two minutes. It's parsing all the leftover data, sending that out. Uh, you should see a success message when it's done and that is it. 
the last bit of advice I'll give you is that when you're done with the scanner, close it out. Each time you're running a new scan, open it and run it again just to make sure all your credentials are fresh, stuff like that. It's always good to just restart it, not leave it sitting open for, for hours or days. And there you go. Shows that it successfully sent the data, so we are all done. If you have any questions or problems, uh, find us on Discord. Go to the Scanner Help channel. That's the best place to ask. There's all sorts of weird quirks with the tool depending on different resolutions and things like that that we can help you out with but uh, should be pretty straightforward. Thanks again for watching and good luck.